So I haven't seen you for a while. How's it going? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you. I was That's very good. busy at some point, but yeah. I'm very, very well now. Have some more time. What have you got Thanks going on at the moment? Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign up for some design designer courses. Oh yeah. Yes. That would so be good. Excited. You wanted to do that, right? Yes, I'm very excited about that. Very cool. What else? Nothing. Not much. Enjoying nice weather. Just very happy. Mm. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. What's going on? Um, nothing. I'm not that busy. Kind of relaxed, uh, enjoying life. Have some trips planned and stuff. Mm. Do you have anything nice. planned? Holidays or anything? Um, this weekend I'm going to music festival, mm -hmm. and I was gonna ask you to come. Uh, oh, I'd love to come. Uh, no, I was gonna ask you to come and to take care of my cat. Oh. Okay. So you have free, some free time, just a few times during this weekend to come and to cook for it, for to Tom. Cook? Yes. You mean open the tin and like? No, cook? no, 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 no. He's not eating that. No, ah. no, of course. He needs uh, you, to, somebody to cook for him. And I was gonna ask you. And I don't know, just spend time with him, stroke a little bit, you know, put him in the bed when he falls asleep. Can you do that? You'll like it. He's very sweet. Uh, you know, I'd love to help, but actually I'm, I'm pretty oh, busy no. this week. Yeah, I don't think I'd have time. Sorry, maybe... Please think about it. Maybe you can do it. Just a few hours a day. Well, maybe I could, but I'm not sure, you know, what time I'm free and stuff. And I don't want to tell you I can and then your oh, cat's like waiting for I can ask you a favor. salmon and stuff and then I'm not there, you know. Okay, never mind. You can find someone else, I'm yeah, sure. sure. Next time, next time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to say no and the, you know, these girls that put you in the friend zone that always ask favors and, you know, you're kind of chasing them all the time. The way to break out is to start treating them more like a friend rather than a girl that you're trying to date. And this is a way to do it. So it's the correct option here. Who are you going to the festival with? With my boyfriend. Ah, this guy. Yeah. Um, how, yeah. how is that, by the way, relationship? It's okay. It's okay. Only okay. It's not perfect. Ah, tell he's me more. Very, he's very busy recently. We don't get enough time together. So I, actually I see him like once or twice a week. He's always in the office. Or even at, when he's at home, he's on his computer. So there is not much communication between us. So he doesn't really pay attention to you and stuff? Looks like that. Yeah, it looks like that to me. Probably his project taken too much time. But you know what, what you have to think about is maybe you would moan if you didn't have a job and you're like, oh, he's just sitting around the house doing nothing. And now you're like, oh, now he's working too much. So it's a bit like Goldilocks, right? You know, it's better that he's doing that than something else. And maybe be happy that he's passionate about his work and that he's, you know, serious. Sometimes I'm like that too, just working on something and just get really into it. Rarely, but sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if that's... If that's his passion, of course I agree, but what about me? What about my passion? What no, just about... wait for your time, you know? Your time will come. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. 
for something to come, I want to live this moment. Maybe get involved in it. What is he what is he working on his project? Some IT projects. I've got no clue about Maybe, no, you know, try interested. and find out about it and share it with him. Say, so what you what you coding today? So I need to be uh, smart and like tricky to get some attention. I don't deserve attention from him just because of who I am. Well, you do. I think just wait and see what happens. But it's understandable. I'll wait a little bit, yes. A few weeks maybe, I'll wait. When a girl complains about her man, you actually don't want to say, yeah, it's so bad, he's terrible, you should leave him. So this is the correct option because you want to think about this. She's attracted to that guy for a reason. So do you want to be like him or you want to be the opposite? You know, you want to be a bit like him, but slightly better. So you can say it in a playful way, um, or you can say it seriously, but kind of taking his side is actually a good thing psychologically and will work. Anyway, let's change the subject. How are you? How's it going? Work? Yeah, it works all right. I have some, I have some interesting projects, actually. And One of them didn't work out, but two are looking really promising. And if mm, something happens, it could exciting. be pretty big. Yeah. So I won't say more because you know what I'm like. I'm more action than yeah, words. So true. I'll tell you if it works out. And okay. oh. Are you looking at this guy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's got these really nice boobs and stuff. Look, can you see them, like, very like, firm and round? I mean, I can't yeah, really. see, but if you imagine naked, I think it like, would be pretty good, right? Oh, but don't, don't, don't be jealous because I'm not you've jealous. got... Well, of course, because you've got an amazing ass. Why would you be jealous? Oh. Do you remember that time when we did yoga together and you were doing yeah, this... Yeah, you were staring at my ass. You saw? Um, you know, of course, you, it was mirror there. What is it, cat? Cow, dog, whatever. It was a cat, downward facing dog or something like this. Yeah. That is brilliant. You have to show me that some more. <laughs> sure. Brilliant. You're her friend. Why are you choosing that? It's not the time to give a compliment. It's not the time to give her validation. You want her to get out of your friend zone, not get deeper in it by just giving her exactly what she wants, but get nothing in return. That's very annoying. Because guys always do that on a date with a girl, they're yeah. checking out other girls and they think cool. girls don't see it, but they do actually. Uh, and what's the problem with that? Makes me feel like I'm not beautiful enough, to be honest. Oh, come on, what are you talking about? You're so beautiful. You have these little elf ears and the pixie nose, <laughs> really nice teeth, That's dimples nice when you smile, you. beautiful That's eyes sweet. that just glow and amazing soft skin. And the way oh, you walk is so feminine you. and beautiful. Nice and you're really smart as well. You're so intelligent. Oh, that's a nice you have this beautiful well. voice and lovely <clears throat> eyebrows. Um, really sexy feet. I don't know Thank if you. I noticed, you know, you have lovely feet as well. Beautiful hands, little soft hands, very feminine. The way you drink coffee, your little cute little hands, like little bear claws, your little feet and your ankles. You I'm know, your ankles are very, very, very nice. Much. And this muscle, nice. calf muscle is very oh. pretty <laughs> okay. when you wear a dress. And you have a long neck. And yeah, not, yeah just... like a regal neck. You know, used to be very prized amongst the nobility back in the day. Very Thanks nice, very white, soft, creamy skin, like a baby, but sexy, not like... Thank you. Know. Thank you. Very nice. nice. 
just because it's what you think doesn't mean it's what you have to say, right? Keep that stuff to yourself because what you want to do is build attraction and you don't do that by just giving her everything even before she's with you. By the way, I saw your ex-girlfriend a few Agatha. days ago. Yes, oh. her. She was with a nice guy. Nice guy? Nice yeah, nice one. one. Well, he looked good and... He did. And she, she looked did. happy. And she did. That's shit. To they looked happy to me. Do you still have feelings for her? Well, I don't want to be with her, but I'd rather she was unhappy not being mm. with me, you know, than happy with some dude. Right. And how about your love life? Are you still single? Yeah, I'm single. And, and you know, it's really hard because, um, you know, I'm a sex addict and I, I, when I have a girlfriend, nice. I'm like having sex all day long, basically. And so being single is really hard. So I'm, I'm basically, you know, I'm, I'm masturbate basically like maybe 10, 12, oh, sometimes shit. more times per day, please. you know, just uh, sometimes watch some videos, sometimes just think about something, <laughs> sometimes You're listen sick. to something, maybe remember something. Okay, stop it. I got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. But they say it's healthy, right? So it's okay. Very healthy. Yes. And uses a lot of uh, calories. Don't need to but go it, to the gym as much. Healthy. No. Serious point here, guys. Actually, don't jerk off so much. It makes you better with women. When you're a bit hungry, when you're out there, um, when your testosterone's up a bit, uh, when you want sex more, you're more likely to actually even approach girls and uh, you know work hard to have good conversations and, and meet them. So less jerking off. I do meet girls, but to be honest, they they just don't really match up to um, to you, actually. Oh. Yeah, I kind of compare. You look at someone like me. Mm, kind of close would be would be good. Yeah. Maybe you don't have to look for some so many nice girls around. Well, I mean, maybe she could be like the same, but with red nails or like an inch or two yeah, longer right. or hair or whatever, but Pretty basically, shy. yeah, and it's not quite rare, right? So taking time. Okay. You heard the phrase putting her on a pedestal. Well, that pretty much exemplifies it. And whether you verbalize that or just show that with the way you look at her, it's got no place in a guy that wants to turn that friend into a girlfriend. There's one guy I really like actually, and I've, I've known her for a while. We're kind of friends, you know, we meet sometimes for coffees and stuff. And uh, she's, she's kind of the one that I want. So, Do I know her? Um, Kind of, yeah, but never mind. But um, you know, I'm just waiting for the day she just realizes that you know, good old Richard, her good friend, is the one who she should be with. I hope you're not talking about me. You hope that I'm not, and therefore I'm not. So no, no. it's another, it's another girl that I meet, friends, coffee, oh, and I'd no, love of to course. meet her as well. Oh, you'd like to meet her? Um, Oh, well, you know what? She she really just hates uh, people and girls especially. She just, Is she on Facebook? Do you have Facebook, any pictures of Facebook. her? No, you know what? She When she was young, someone took her picture and then they immediately died. So she never lets anyone take their pictures. So there's nothing exists of her. No Is pictures. there any chance they can see her? Um, maybe, maybe. I'll, I'll, look, I'll tell you what, I'll talk to her and let's, you know, forget about that. You'll, you'll probably meet strange. her one day. Yeah, I'm sure you'll meet her. Maybe. Chill it out a bit. Don't need to be so eager. Treat her like you would treat any of your other friends. Yeah, I'm still single, but I did have a date recently with this oh. girl. Yeah, and nice. she was, you know, she's very pretty, but also she's just really intelligent. We had mm. great conversation. So only one date so far, but definitely want to see her again because she seems, she seems great, actually. Okay, I'm happy for you. It's not sexy to just let her think that you're chilling at home, playing PlayStation and, you know, 
never seeing any girls. So why not have a dating life? It's going to make you more attractive, make her work harder to try and get you and move you out of the friend zone so that she sees you in a different light. It's the correct option. Remember that you need to treat her just like one of your average friends. You know, sometimes you can be busy, sometimes you can be doing stuff. You want to move away a little bit so that she starts working harder for you. It's a little bit too long, a little bit artificial, but it's not the worst option in this case. So in your text it sounded like something yeah. serious is going on. What, how are you doing? Serious. Not very good. Uh, why? It's my boyfriend. We it's, broke it's, up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We did. Mm. It was actually the right time to finish our relationship to end it. Yeah. Um, three years. Yeah, after it's all terrible. These years. Yes, I thought he he was the right person to be my husband. Mm. Um, not now, right? Yes, mm. not now. We couldn't sort out our relationship, and I had to end it. Mm, that's awful. Yeah, so bad. Yeah. You must be really sad. I'm very sad. Mm -hmm. I'm very disappointed. Okay. Well, look, I've got something that might cheer you up. Hang on a second. Okay. Look what I've got for Lilia! What is that? Well, Cheers. I hope you like trees and kumquats oh. because it's a kumquat tree. Yeah. That's the kumquat tree. Yeah, you can eat them and I don't know. <laughs> look, just look at it because it's beautiful, Funny. right? You it like is. it? Um, yes, I do. Great. So, you know, remember this was like the new time in your life and it all started with the kumquat tree. I think right. it's a nice, nice thing. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. So you take it you take it home, yeah? Um I will one day. I will. Could you please just put it somewhere? Okay, I'll put him out I'll there and I'll play some classical music because he likes it. So I'll do do that. you have a glass of wine for me? Yeah, I can get you a glass of wine. Thank you very much. Got some actually do you want kumquat wine or, <sighs> or just No, it's just just white, normal boring white dry wine. wine. Yeah? Yes, okay. that one. Thank you. I actually like this one, to be honest, but there's a better option here, but you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, mm, take this. Cheers. Cheers. Nice, Very right? Nice. Yes. <clears throat> so, tell me what happens. We're going to talk about it anyway. Better to get it out of the way. Um, nothing special. <laughs> I just took a minute to analyze what's going on and uh, I realized I wasn't happy mm. in this relationship and I thought that relationship is something nice yeah. but it wasn't for me and it was the right time to end it up. Hang on a minute, so you ended it? Yeah, oh, of course. Oh, that's worth the cheers. Oh, you poor thing. Come here. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just uh, stroking your hair because it relieves stress, they say. Did you hear mm -hmm. this? No, I haven't. I'll send you the article. So. Sadness and sexuality don't really go together, so the wrong time for that move, old boy. You know, I understand because it's hard now because you were spending every day together and it's like, you know, something missing from your life that was always there. 
but that doesn't mean that it was good, right? So it will be hard for you, but it's still the right decision, it and is, you I'm will sure. be happier for sure. So awesome. it's all gonna be okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you for your support. It's anytime. How about you? How's your love life? Oh, my love life. Well, I had some dates, but didn't meet anyone special yet. So it's okay. Okay. Correct, that's the right option. So I guess you haven't been home crying all day, right? You've been doing things to distract yourself? No, home. of course not. Mm -hmm. I was trying to distract myself. I finally had my yoga ah, classes. Yeah, cool. That's nice, relaxing yes, and stuff. Meeting my friends for mm -hmm. coffee, friends I haven't seen for ages. You, yeah. finally I have time for you. Yeah. And uh, shopping. Ah, you were shopping. That's well. That's yes. like the common one, right? Women when they probably yes. Want to feel I was better laughing at shopping. them, but like it, it really works, you know. In fact, I got this dress. Tell me mm, if you like show it. Show me. Okay. Yeah, I mean the blue is your color, probably. So it's gold, isn't it? Um, it's clearly blue. Anyway, do you like it? Well, of course it's nice, but you know, you don't need to buy a new dress to be sexy. I think you look nice. Like, you know that blue sweater you have? Mm. That's nice. And I like your gym clothes, this um, mm. Nike, nice. all the you Nike like stuff. Yeah, and I like these, um, when you wear the jeans and that t-shirt that says meow or something on it, I like that. Mm. Um, yeah, so you don't really need to buy a new dress to be sexy, you always look nice. Very sweet, thank you. This was an opportunity to do something a little bit better, you know, you haven't blown it with this choice, but it's not the best option. So tell me about that girl that you said you liked and oh. you had a couple of dates. Oh, Rebecca, yeah, well, we had a nice date, okay. um, but then um, I kind of texted her like, hey, how are you? Let's meet again soon, go for a drink or something. And uh, she didn't reply, but I don't know, maybe she died or is in hospital mm. or lost her phone or something like that. The reason for that is because you're too awkward. Awkward? Sure. Me? Yes. You don't have uh, social skills at all. Ma, awkward. Come yes. on, let, me, let me tell you something about that. What? What's that? <laughs> He's awkward <laughs> now, eh? Teacher! Look how ticklish you are. You're so awkward. So embarrassing to be with someone so awkward. <laughs> This is actually a very good way to escalate things because it's kind of between playful and sexual. So it should be accepted by most, most girls. They should be fine with it, but it allows you to get a little bit intimate. So tell me, have you got anything nice to look forward to? Any plans coming? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm going to Russia to see my parents and my grandparents. Parents, Babushka, I haven't seen them for ages. Back to Russia. <laughs> Yes. Can I meet Putin? Mm, hope so. <laughs> Hopefully, okay. I will. Excellent. No. And then, and then when I'm coming back, mm -hmm. uh, I'm starting my interior interior design course. Ah, very cool. Yeah, very yeah, you were excited. talking about that for a long time. Yeah, yeah. waiting, and now it's starting. Brilliant. That would be great. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, cheers. Uh, actually, the third toast you need to drink it all. That's like tradition oh, in my really? in my family oh. and. Yeah. I'll try. So anyway, yeah. Oh, come on. What's that? Useless. Right, I have to do it, but it's only because it's my oh, family okay. tradition, you know? Okay. Not because... You You're know. not nervous or something? No, of course uh, not, but just for tradition. Okay. Um, so, w would you like to kiss me now? Um, 
No, oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't asking. No, uh, I wasn't asking for real. Just I didn't know what to say, and you know, say something really weird <laughs> like that. Because of course, why would we kiss? Yeah, I mean, I can like, kiss you. I wouldn't kiss your my sister, and you know, I wouldn't kiss my granny, and we're like like friends and like brother and sister. Yeah, that's right. and it would be weird, right? Yeah. You know? Um. Yeah. You, what did you say? You can kiss me on the cheek? Yeah, like a sister. Just to see what it's like to have a sister, because I don't have a sister. <laughs> like um, that? Normal. Okay. Of course it's normal. Just like, yeah, nothing special. And can you do it again though? Just to see, just to see. Not too many times, just one. Once mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not. I think it's alright. Nothing Not happened. Yeah. Oops, nearly. Um, didn't get the best possible result in the end. Means that you made a few too many wrong choices or not quite right choices in the course of this level. So almost did it. Not bad, but not the best result. I'm gonna miss you when you're away. Mm, you know that? I'm gonna, gonna miss, miss you. you. Gonna miss you. <laughs> gonna miss you. This is another nice way to escalate. Again, you know, it's a bit of fun and they're smiling. And it's actually easier to go for the kiss when the girl is relaxed, smiling, and you're in this playful kind of situation. I've ruined the friendship. 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 And that's that. This is so weird. We shouldn't do this. This is a bit of uh, psychology here because you can think that the possible objection is that she becomes uncomfortable, she remembers that you've been friends for so long, you shouldn't do it. Uh, so if you're the one to voice this concern, then she's likely to take the opposite tack. So it's the right choice, very smart, bunch of psychology at work here, and it works very well in practice. Yeah, they're more comfortable. Right? This is the right choice. You kind of want to find a balance between moving really fast and aggressively um, to kind of being too slow, right? So carry on, escalate things slowly, uh, let her get comfortable and used to the fact, and also get her more turned on. Do you have a condom? Oh no, I don't have one, but maybe I could just put it in a little bit. Oh no, just no. a little bit. It's ridiculous. And then I just finish like somewhere else. <laughs> Where do you want it? Like here or? No. Um, but maybe you could just... Um, no, no. no. Mm -mm. I don't like this idea at all. Okay. Okay, you blew it, but hopefully you'll get another chance. Yeah, of course I've got one. I've got one right here. Mm, my shoe. Yeah, prepared. Yeah, my mum told me. <laughs> now you don't want to break the action and the mood, so to speak, so make sure that you've got some strategic placements around the house so that you don't need to go go far or even worse, you know, run down to the store to, to buy something.
Did you help in the darkness? Oh yeah, of course. There you go. That was amazing, but do you think it will ruin our friendship? You can try. This is psychology at work here. You're the one that voices the concern so that she's going to present the other argument and that stops her going home thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this. Actually, it's bad. Maybe we shouldn't do it and texting you that she doesn't want to carry on any kind of romantic relationship. So it's the right choice. Sometimes we need to say no, and the, you know, these girls that put you in the friend zone, the Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Very nice. You look great. Thank you, so do you. Cheers. <laughs> we'll take a seat. I ordered you some tea. Thank you, you that's like perfect. Tea, right? I do. I mean, you're not English, but I'm sure, I'm sure you drink tea too. I still like tea. Oh, so how have you been? Good. Busy. Yeah, busy? Yeah, work. Hmm. It's been overwhelming. You told me, what was it you said? You said you work in a charity or something, but yeah. I don't know what it is. What, <laughs> uh, what non-profit, animal shelter, doing cat rescues. A cat shelter, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. So <laughs> you're just doing that, and I guess you don't get paid, like... No. Millions to work there. No, right? it's very small and usually, usually actually free. Very um, cool. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. It helps helps out a lot. So you love cats, and you just decided to <laughs> do something. Yeah, I love all animals, but uh, cats here need most help. That's great. So. I'm sure people love you for that. Then some people. <laughs> most people like cats. I like cats. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's good. Do you have any? No. <laughs> 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 well, you should you should stop by and I can maybe help you find one. Okay. Well, actually, I travel a lot, so it's it's not it's not good. But okay. I can come by and just you know play with them and whatever, and then that would be nice. Cool. <laughs> when someone does something like this, you know, charity, something that they really care about, don't tease it, don't take the piss, don't be rude about it. Connect on. So what does your work entail there? Are you like, you know, holding a ball of string all day playing with the cats? Has it got no. Serious stuff. <laughs> That's part of it. But um, actually we do transports nationwide. Mm -hmm. So if the shelters fold, then we find someone who can take it elsewhere in the country to save its life. Um, okay. That's actually the reason it's been really busy is a cat I had adopted. I lost him. So you lost him? He's, yeah, he's been adopted and I opened his cage and he ran out um, and I don't really know how to tell the people. So he's like somewhere in the building or yeah, it could hopefully. be anywhere? Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. He could be anywhere. He may have found his way outside. But um, I don't know how to tell the people, so maybe you have an idea? Well, why don't you just, you know, not say anything? Like, oh no, wasn't that cage always empty? Was there a cat there? Well, oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> that wouldn't work because he's actually already been adopted. Ah, um, so someone's waiting for him. Yeah, so people would notice. Him. And you can't tell them actually it's a ghost cat and we yeah. already sent him to you. He's in yeah, your, right, right, <laughs> he's right. He's haunting you right now. Right, okay. yeah, so that wouldn't work. Yeah. If you're suggesting that she does something dishonest, why would she trust you in the future? And what does that say about your moral code? Not good stuff, right? Um, I actually don't think you told me what you do. Oh yeah, I didn't, did I? No. <laughs> It's really fascinating stuff. So I'm a QA manager for a software company that creates inventory management systems. So I design black box and white box testing protocols to make sure that the inventory system successfully keeps track of all the SKUs along the manufacturer's supply chain. That's interesting. Very. Can you make it a little bit more interesting? So, what do you do outside of work? Um, what do I do? So, I do some fitness stuff and I study languages. Great. And what else? I've, I play chess as well. I don't know how to play chess. 
Oh, really? Yeah. You don't know how the pieces move, or you can't play very well? <laughs> I can move them, I just don't know how the you game You know what works. they're called? Like, the horse and whatever. <laughs> Is there a rook? <laughs> yeah, a rook. Thing? Yeah. A rook or castle, okay. yeah. I know some. Okay, well, it's quite easy to learn, and it's really, I think it's quite cool for the brain. My mum bought me a chess set, and then Great. I thought, okay, it can't just sit there, I'm going <laughs> to learn how to play. Cool, you have to teach me. Mm -hmm. And what else? I like, um, I like photography. It's probably actually my major hobby. The really? thing I spend the most time doing is photography. Oh, that's great. Why, why do you like it? Well, actually, there was this time when I just uh, borrowed a friend's camera and mm -hmm. I just took some pictures and I loved it. And then everywhere I was going, I was looking at things and thinking, oh, that would make a nice shot, that would make a nice shot. I uh, took some pictures of friends and, you know, they all used it as their Facebook profile pictures. <laughs> and like, like a headshot. Yes, yeah, so I, cool. I just really got into it and I guess I, I might have some talent, so, you know, I keep it. But it's just a hobby, I'm not thinking about it too seriously. Well, it sounds like you're having fun. That's, yeah. that's great. You can take your picture if you like. Do you like having your picture <laughs> taken? <laughs> sure, yeah, we could try. Cool. I, I could use a new profile photo. Yep, yep. When you have something that you like doing, why not be a little bit passionate about it? Tell her why. Try and, you know, get that infectious emotion spread to her. So, yeah, that's the right answer. So, I actually do photography too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, what camera do you use? Uh, it's a Canon 5D Mark III. It's a good one. It's better than mine. Oh, yeah? What do you have? <laughs> iPhone? A 40D. And, yes, in an iPhone. Um, but I use a 40D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually uh, got into photography because I modeled. Okay. Kind of still do a little bit here and there. Ah, so you model. Yeah, I was going to say, right, but you know, you, you mentioned it first, so I guess I can, but I definitely saw you on, on a website. You know, you, do you have your campaigns and videos and different things in different places? Yeah, there's a portfolio on there. Yeah, I think there was this video on Pornhub, what was it? No. I don't remember. Like Someone that looked like me, deep maybe. Deep throat, something, but... So it was, yeah, no. It was definitely it was you. It was certainly not you. me. Don't, don't be ashamed, come on. No, 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 it just wasn't me. It wasn't me. Okay, it wasn't you. Wow. But just so you know, like, you sure can suck a dick. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. Out. Where that's, are you that's going? That's disgusting. Let's make some movies. Dirty little bugger. Well, that's cool. Actually, I'm, you know, I know a lot about it through the photography, but right. it's quite hard work, isn't it, actually? Yeah. People think it's easy, you know, just sitting there having pictures taken. <laughs> yeah, there actually is a lot of hard work. You have to know all your best angles and, you know, Practice be able posing to, and whatever. Yeah, and have emotion in your face. You can't just have a blank yeah. face, and that's actually much harder than people think. Especially at the end of a long day, right? You're tired yeah. and the lights are on. And, and the shoes hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. But there are pluses, hard. right? So, do you, did you get to travel to any cool countries for, for mm, modeling? Never out of the country yet, but I've been to a lot of states and different cities. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, good. Well done. Now, think about how you can apply this. as well in your life. Think about how even if you're not connected to a subject, you can kind of learn how to be empathetic, empathetic, not pathetic, and try and put yourself in their position, uh, feel how they might feel, and think about why they would choose to do that. So, you know, that kind of thought allows you to have very nice connected conversations, and this is an example of it. So you've got your cap shelter work, mm -hmm. you did some modeling, you yeah. did some photography, so yes. you're already pretty busy, right? Yeah. Do you have, do you have right. time for anything else? I like to hike a lot. I like to be outside, you know, being in the shelter and modeling, you're usually indoors. So mm -hmm. it's nice to get outside and I don't like being in the gym. So hiking is like my way of working Yeah, it's out. very good exercise it is. and fresh air and all that as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But um, I also really like, you know, staying in sometimes and just like watching a movie. Oh, movies, okay. Mm -hmm. what's, what's like the... Best movie you've seen that you really love recently? A nice recently? hard overall. So like oh, it's recently. so silly, but it's kind of like a guilty pleasure movie. But um, Jurassic World. Wait a minute. Why, why did I invite you on a date? If you if you like that, you've obviously got a pea brain. No. How can you like that movie? It's shit. Because it's silly. It's not supposed to be serious. But it's not entertaining, it's not funny, it's just dumb bullshit. Only an idiot could like it, come on. Really? Yeah. Well, 
then I don't Wait, know. What's your IQ? Did you have an IQ test, or you couldn't? You probably weren't even smart enough to click the button and say start test. Yeah. You know, I think uh, I'm going to stay here and finish my tea because I'm so stupid. And you should maybe go down the street to the library and find yourself a smart girl. Well, I don't even need to go to the library to find a girl smarter than you. Could find one. I don't know, like retarded mental institute, probably. Good. It's a very, very dumb movie, but she's still a sweet girl and she might have other good points other than her taste in films, so a little bit harsh, wasn't it? I can't believe you admitted that. You really like it? Yeah, I had to be honest, it's a guilty pleasure movie and it was recent, you asked recent, it just came into my head. I don't know if it makes you look kind of dumb or if it's really or if it's like honest and sweet that you know cute that you like it I hope honest and sweet probably because <laughs> I'll tell you like one of my favorite movies is Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger sure, yeah, yeah. but if so you like it too silly. yeah but it's silly it's the same, same All right, nice one okay cool I like it good, good. <laughs> you didn't judge me for liking Predator no. <laughs> notice that this is playful it's not insulting so if you can find that perfect line where you're able to tease without hurting people you can use it quite often and there's an example good choice so what sort of movies do you like I know everyone says it, but I do have a, a varied taste. So if you looked at my iTunes, um, I've got foreign movies, you know, Korean, French, wow. uh, Spanish. A lot like, of subtitles. Yeah, lots of subtitles. <laughs> I don't, I'm not scared of subtitles. And what else? I've got like the silly action movies, all the Schwarzenegger stuff, and then like the Panero, um, Panero. De Niro. <laughs> De Niro okay. and pa De Niro is like De Niro and Pacino, so mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, right. we can use that for you the like genre. Them, you like them both? Yeah, like the Mafia stuff, Heat, right. you know, all Anything of that. Anything so. recent? A uh, recent movie... I missed it at the cinema, but I just saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm. Have you seen it? No, I heard it was bad. Uh, as a movie, it's bad, but you know what's cool? It's just all this stuff about you know, tying girls up and having a little dungeon in your house where you have all of the, you know, all of the oh, accessories like, and whatever. It's a little silly, a little over the top. Are you, I mean, is it too personal for me to ask, but are you, are you into any of that stuff? At least, you know, blindfolds, handcuffs, mm -hmm. being tied up? Might be too personal for now. Okay, well, I like it. Okay, but you know, in the real world, don't get so sexual so fast. Keep it chilled, wait till you know she's going to be into it, then slowly bit by bit. Actually, I just threw my TV in the trash and I don't really go to the movies. I think that, you know, when it comes to all this, there's just more important things in life to do than sitting down watching something passively. Why don't you read a That's book? That's true. That's fair. I actually kind of like that answer. Good, good. This is an option, you know, where you've chosen to be a little bit out there, a little bit straight and direct, but then she's actually followed you into it and validated it. So it's quite risky, but when you take a big, you know, position like that and you can convince them to it, it's very attractive. And I like, you know, really talented actors, but... Sure. What do you think? Would you be a good actress? Could you, like, cry on call? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Are you a good that liar? sounds hard. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm really not. that's kind of connected, right? I can lie for, like, a minute, and then I feel really bad about it, and I admit it right away. Hmm. So I'm not sure if you'd be good, but do you have any other talents? Mm, I play the violin. Yeah, really? Yeah. Wow. Since I was, like, five. And you still do it? You kept it up? Not as much as I should, but yeah. Well, that's impressive. Thanks. It's hard. Well, playing the violin is great, obviously. I, I don't know if I can compete with that as far <laughs> as uh, talents go, but I do have something that I think you're going to be impressed with. Like, okay. Let me just, I'm just sending you a picture. Do you have your phone here? No, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I left it in my I'll car. send it so you're going to have it to keep. Okay. But let me show you this. So I've just sent it to you. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, I know, right? No, that's. Yeah. No. That's not okay. Ooh, it's very... What do you mean it's not okay? It's way above average. But 10 inches. <laughs> You're dreaming. Um, and I'm wrong? leaving. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Oh, 
You like small dicks or what? How sweet you gave her a lasting record. What area do you live in, by the way? Do you live close by? Kind of. Um, I live in the northern part of Chelsea. Are mm -hmm. you close? Uh, now I'm not too far. Just um, bought a place in, in Soho, so oh I'm, wow, I'm quite close by. That's yeah. a great area. Yeah, it's it's nice. You know, I wanted to I wanted to get a cool place with a view, and you know, I like the area. So yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Cool. Have you ever lived anywhere else abroad or anything? Only in the in the states. Okay. I actually tried living in a few places. Really? Uh, yeah, I lived in Rio. Wow. Um, of course, lived in London, lived in New York. Yeah. That's really awesome. Lots of different places. It's really, really cool. Rio is um, very nice. Is it? It's, it's a little bit dangerous. It's a carnival. Yeah, they yeah. have carnival. It's uh, like two weeks. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> and New Year's is big there. But, you know, very nice weather. It's got the beach and very beautiful city. That sounds fun. Well done. Now, what you need to do is think about the things in your life that are kind of show-offy, where you went to school or your possessions, wherever it could be. And then if you do want to brag about it, which you don't have to, um, but if you do, then you can do it in a smooth way like this, where you just encourage her to ask you the right questions so you get a chance to show off. No, that's just plain wrong. Um, it means she's closed, usually. This is not an absolute rule, but in most cases it's correct, so well done. Listen, I know that you, um, you gave me your number and you met me for mm -hmm. a date, but I've had girls meet me before and then they say they just want to be friends and stuff. So, do you like me? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. so far. Oh, so cool. far. Great. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Duh. No, you don't need to do that. You should know if she likes you by the responses that you're getting. When you move closer to her, when you look at her more intently, uh, when you start making things a little bit sexual, you can feel the vibe and that should tell you whether she likes you or not, not explicitly asking. And how about your family? Do they live, do they live in the city as well? No, I moved away from home, um, oh, yeah? which is, yeah, it's sad. I miss them. I miss seeing them. When did you leave? When you were like a teenager, you ran away? <laughs> <laughs> no. Rebellious teenager? No, for school, for school, and okay. then I just stayed here. But you get on well with your family, you don't hate yeah, them? Yeah, no, absolutely. I actually, um, I have a twin sister and we're very close. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Twin, wow, yeah. that's really interesting actually. You know they do loads of studies on twins, don't yes, they? Yes, I do. Did, did they do anything on you, like psychological no. studies, psychic no. tests or whatever? No, it would be fun. I think it would be fun though. Do you, do you have some like special bond? Like if I pinched you now, I won't do it, <laughs> but like if I pinched you really hard, would she kind of feel it? Oh, my arm feels strange. I don't know, we could do it and I could text her so <laughs> she felt something. <laughs> Try that later. Yeah. But you get on really well? Or you're competitive? We, we How's do. your relationship? No, we, we understand each other very well. We always know each other's emotions without having to say it. That's very nice. So you yeah. have someone who's always like supporting you and who Definitely. understands you. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I think so. Now be careful of falling into the dirty guy trap. You didn't do it in this choice. It's the right one. Well done. So what about your family? I've got, I've got family. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have any brothers and sisters, and people say that makes me like selfish. But no, I don't Does think it? so. No, I don't think so. And I'm quite close to my mum. Uh, my dad's Italian, so hmm. I see him sometimes, but less often. And what else? I have five five children. Really? Yeah, but they don't live in the country. They're like all in different countries, so that's okay. You're joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no children and, and no wife. So. Okay, that's that's good. That's yeah. ideal. You work in the shelter, but do you have mm -hmm. any cats yourself? I do actually, I have two. Oh, okay, tell me, tell me about them. 
Um, let's see. The one of them, he's actually really special needs. He's deaf and he has asthma. He's allergic to like every food mm -hmm. in the whole world. Um, the other one's just really sweet and kind of general. Oh no, look what happened. Oh my god! Game over, motherfucker. You blew it. I was trying to think who you remind me of, and I think I've got it. Has anyone ever told you that you're like Hillary Clinton? No. No? No. No one? No. Well, in what way, exactly? Well, not really in the way you look. Um, okay, that's good. I mean, she's, she's old, <laughs> she's sli slightly or a lot older. I'm not sure how slightly. old you are. Slightly. And then, um, but something about, like, your, I guess you're poised, you know? You're like a strong woman. Okay, well, that's, yeah. that's actually kind of nice. Yeah. Now it is kind of cool to tell a girl that she looks like a famous person. You should be careful who you choose. Porn stars and aging politicians. Not so much. So yeah, I'm close with my mum and you know my family and actually I keep in touch with some of my exes as well. I hope you don't think that's that's weird. No, I do the same. Yeah, I was talking to one of my exes yesterday and she was telling me like uh, she misses me and stuff. Now she's dating Drake. Oh. And she's like, you know, you're much cooler and better and whatever. But, you know, that's, that's all right. But, you know, good for her. She's in yeah. LA doing her modeling stuff. And sure. Whatever. You know, moving on is, is always good. She wasn't the yeah. one, so I had to just get rid of her and, you know, let Drake have her. Yeah, good for her. Unless she specifically asks, I don't think this is something that you needed to reveal. So, do you go on many dates? Oh no, of course not. No, I, I don't really date, you see. I'm, I'm kind of focused on work and whatever. But when I met you, I thought, this girl, you know, she's got something. So, hmm. that's why I invited you. No, don't, don't really date. Okay. Well, why would you have chosen that? You want to appear like a guy that's just asexual, that's staying at home, doesn't have an interest in social life that women don't like? No, you want to present the opposite, just not to be too much of a playboy, but having some dates is fine, so you didn't need to say that. And what about you? Do you go on a lot of dates? I mean, I would say, I guess, average, you know. What's it's... average? 16 a week? <laughs> <laughs> For you, maybe, you know. Um, you know, a couple times a month, I guess. It's kind of hard dating in the city. Um, it's not exactly easy to meet people. Yeah. You know? Where do you meet them? Is it online or real world? Oh, I have tried the dating apps, but I don't like them. I like meeting people in real life. It's you know, better, you get right? a better idea of, like, who they are. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, what kind of girls do you like? I like, I like really kind of brash, um, you know, fun-loving blonde girls, mm -hmm. um, you know, like those kind of beachy type. Sure. And, um, you know, if she's, if she's got some, I don't know, if she works in some kind of sexy industry, it's, it's a bonus. Someone who likes yeah. partying a lot as well, hard okay. drinking, having fun. Yeah. It's great. Okay. Mm, very bad. That's not going to make her like you. It's not going to make her work harder for you. It's just going to make her think less of you. And tell me, what kind of men do you like? Mm, tall, dark, and handsome. Typically, Normal. But really outdoorsy. Um, mm. I guess maybe uh, he can be husky sometimes. Kind of looks like a lumberjack, maybe. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Kind of different from yeah from the average and hard to find. Yeah. Nice one, you didn't fall for the bait, and this is one where she, you know, could either be trying to get a reaction or just by chance it happens. And the key again is not to get emotional and fall into justifying yourself, proving yourself, asking why, calling her wrong or whatever it is. So just be cool with it. So tell me, what music do you like? Well, you know, play the violin, so I do like classical. Um, but I like classic rock too. I like a lot of 80s, Michael okay. Jackson. That's cool. Yeah, Do you like uh, rap music? I like rap music. Um, yeah, a bit. I'm not as familiar with it though. After 10-15 minutes of speaking to a girl, if you notice that your postures are kind of matching and she, uh, she followed your lead there, then it means that she's very comfortable, relaxed with you and probably attractive. 
I think it's important to know what people want, right? Yeah. So it's good that I think it's maybe a personal question, but I'm glad that I'm glad we, that we both know what <laughs> each other likes. Yeah, I think so. Now, usually I can tell just by watching a girl and the way she moves, mm. but, but with you, I'm not quite sure. So tell me, like, how are you in the bedroom? Are you have you got some moves? Really? Yeah. Oh. Come on, it's a bit of fun. Like, how would you rate yourself out of ten? I don't know. Um, we I'm, should imagine I called your ex and I'm like, look, tell me, how is she in the sack? I mean, I've never been dumped. Is that a fair answer? Never been dumped. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty good to me. All right. This is not bad, a little bit of a challenge, maybe a little bit too much for a first date, um, but not bad and brave. Listen, I, I, I just really want to kiss you right now, but first, do you mind, do you want a, a bit of gum? <laughs> I mean, your choice, if you want to have some. Is it bad? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, did you maybe have no. some garlic like, or... No, I just had the tea that you got. Okay, well, that's okay. Well, here's, here it is if you want it. Thanks. Oh, Vito, that's just rude, man. You know what? I'm having a really nice time with you and I'm really happy we met. Oh, I, I'm i sorry. Like, you're really nice and I like you, but I'm just not that you don't serious love me? right now. No. You don't love me? No. Not yet? The surprise kiss never works. Remember that a kiss should only come after you've created a nice seductive bubble and she wants it and she's given you all the signs that she's ready. You know, I, I don't know if you feel this too, but I, I just feel an incredible connection with you <laughs> since, since maybe the moment I met you. Sure. And, um, I've, I've been in love before, of course, but I just feel all those feelings again and, and more and I think it would just be perfect to... Oh, I, I'm i sorry, like you're really nice and I like you, but I'm just not that serious right now. No. You don't love me? No. Not yet? Oh, you little sweet pea. Listen, can I, can I kiss you? I mean, Would you mind? It's not always attractive to ask if you, you know. Isn't it? It's more fun if you just kind of go for it. Really? I should yeah. just jump on you? I mean, you're not so extreme, but you shouldn't ask. Okay, you ready? You shouldn't I'm going to do it. Are you ready? Let's try again another time. Okay. And I won't ask. Right. Got it. <laughs> really? You had to ask? No, all wrong. When someone does